Uh, India is a country in Southeast Asia. We work across 10 states in India in over 1000 villages on issues related to water, agriculture, community mobilization, transforming schools and women empowerment. We work with most marginalized and vulnerable sections of uh, society, uh, especially women. Uh, as you know, in rural areas, um, uh, the, the literacy level is low. There is lack of awareness about various government programs. Uh, uh, the agricultural techniques um, in farming are uh, outdated. So a lot of information and knowledge needs to be given to the farmers on the latest agricultural technologies so that the productivity can, uh, can increase. The problems related to women are uh, 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 really very bad uh, in, se in the sense that uh, there is a high uh, illiteracy level among uh, rural women. Uh, women work in farm in fields, uh, women work in agricultural fields for long hours, yet they are not recognized as uh, farmers. Uh, they fetch water, water is a major problem in some of the states uh, in India. And they, uh, you know, spend a lot of time in fetching water for families uh, and also for the cattle. Uh, so this leads to a lot of uh, drudgery for women. Uh, women have a very uh, uh, low decision-making uh, power even in families. And uh, some of them are elected representatives in the village council. But still, um, they do not have the decision-making ability to contribute to the development of the villages. So their spouses, their uh, you know, sons and the male you know, members of the family, they take the decisions on behalf of women. So even though they are elected to the village council, which is known as the panchayat, um, the decision making ability uh, is very you know, poor. So these are some of the problems specifically related to women. Uh, the dropout of girls in schools is um, high as you, uh, you know, in the senior classes as you climb up the uh, ladder of the classes. So in high school, the dropout rate of girls is uh, very low. Access to digital technology amongst girls uh, is extremely low uh, and uh, that is also one of the areas which needs to be focused on based on the needs of the communities. Whatever programs are designed uh, in the foundation, they are based on the actual felt needs and the actual needs of the communities. So they are, it's like a bottom-up planning and the participation of women and the community in general across uh, the project's uh, cycle is uh, imperative. Tegel Foundation works in the area of agricultural development uh, we specifically work with uh, women farmers uh, so that the women are recognized as uh, uh, farmers. Uh, we provide them latest agricultural technologies and uh, techniques uh, in terms of improving soil health, water efficient irrigation practices, package of practices, etc. Uh, we work on the key areas of water where uh, you know we work on uh, specifically uh, harvesting rainwater so that more water is available to, uh, to the communities, especially women, and so that the drudgery of the women is reduced. Uh, in terms of local participation and sustainability, uh, we work with women to empower them. We provide training on various government programs, especially to women, uh, so that they are able to access these uh, government uh, programs uh, for themselves and uh, for their villages. So uh, a lot of information on various government programs is given through trainings and this enhances the skills and knowledge of women. So things like accessing um, widow pension uh, by women or getting electricity for their uh, you know, villages or getting water for their villages. So these are some of the um, you know, uh, uh, areas um, on which um, the women uh, work and once they are brought together as a collective, this gives them a lot of uh, 
collective power and we call for collective action which is very powerful and very impactful uh, for women you know when they come together uh, we also uh, provide uh, training to women who have been elected on uh, the village council uh, uh, so which is called panchayat in india or who are elected as members of various mandatory committees in, in education and health uh, in women so that the women are able to uh, you know uh, perform their responsibilities and uh, perform their role and uh, discharge their responsibilities in a effective uh, manner and also the issues relating to women are taken up at the decision making level and uh, the programs and the plans of the village uh, are designed accordingly uh, we also have a program uh, with women on health in one of the states specifically which has uh, very poor indices in terms of uh, health of women so we provide them information on um, better health and nutrition so that they are able to uh, you know uh, have better uh, nutrition for themselves and their children uh, we also promote kitchen gardens um, in rural areas so that uh, the women can decide on the basket of vegetables which are of high nutrition value nutritional value uh, for their families and for themselves and uh, they are able to grow these uh, vegetables and um, the families can use these vegetables for consumption so uh, we have a community radio uh, in the rural areas um, the community radio is managed by the community and uh, various programs are made um, in the language which is understood by the community so you know it provides a space space a safe space for women also to you know uh, access um, uh, programs related to community radio because they can listen to the programs uh, at their own pace at their own time in the school firstly we uh, provide wash facilities for uh, uh, girls so that they have a specifically functional toilet um, and also there is availability of drinking water and then we provide a digital uh, uh, technology digital awareness for girls so that they get information about uh, various uh, uh, you know programs and various uh, information uh, you know related to their lives and they get uh, empowered in their lives we provide training on life skills education so that the girls are able to make decisions in their life sagar foundation looks forward to partnering with more organizations and uh, more stakeholders so that we can create a larger impact uh, reach out to more uh, villages in india and share our learnings with other uh, like minded organizations we also want to partner with uh, academic institutions and uh, other stakeholders and we hope together uh, we can change lives and transforms lives of rural india we also plan to work with crossing borders on issues related to women empowerment especially setting up uh, village leadership schools uh, where we will work with rural women and provide them uh, knowledge and skills to access various uh, government programs there are a lot of government programs specifically for uh, women but the problem is that the women are not able to access them because they do not have either the knowledge or the skills so we under this program we will help women to you know provide the knowledge and uh, assist them with uh, filling up all the documentation required both online and offline so that they are able to uh, get benefited from these government programs and uh, they are able to contribute for the development of their families and for their villages i hope we can work together and together we can empower rural india